Hey guys, I hope your week's going well. Today, I'm going to show you how I cut and prepare my butternut squash. So, the first time I did a butternut squash, um, I found it quite challenging because squash are very hard and I kind of had to hack at it a bit. So, um, after a few trials, I found out a method that works for me, so I thought I'd share with you today. Um, something that my friend Chelsea, who blogs at One Healthy Munchkin, taught me is to actually heat up your squash in the microwave for a few minutes. So, this is a butternut squash, and all I've done to it so far is pierced it a few times and heated it up in the microwave for three minutes. Um, I've never heated it up more than three minutes. Three minutes just seems to work. So, um, this butternut squash is heated up and just pierced so it wouldn't explode in my microwave. And now I'll show you how I go about cutting it. So, if we tilt that down a bit, we have our vegetable cutting board. Be food safe. Don't use the one you were using for your chicken. So I just obviously chop off the stem. And then it also has a little knob at the bottom. So I'll chop that off too. And when you chop off the bottom, it would be a lot harder if you didn't heat it up previously. So that little trick really helps. Now, I usually cube mine and bake it that way, so I always just slice my butternut squash into coins like this. And now it is still kind of hard, and so when it gets to the, when it's rolling around on me, I'll just slice it in half like that. And so obviously I would clean out all the seeds. But to get the peel off, um, if you are to Google what how to peel a butternut squash or any squash, um, they will actually suggest you using a vegetable peeler. I have used this method in the past, but just once. I really didn't like it. Um, I felt like it was a lot more time consuming than what I'm about to show you. And... I just didn't really like it. So what I do is I'll just take my coins and just slice around them. Like it's really not hard. Or you can also use just a smaller knife, like a vegetable peeler, um, like a vegetable knife. A paring knife, I guess, is the proper word. And just kind of slice around it like that but this seems to work for me and so I just peel off the skins like I just did and just slice and obviously get as much like the skin off and as little of the flesh off as possible so that's how I cut my butternut squash and then once all the peels are off so for this one I would just dice it up depending on what I'm making if I'm making my breakfast bowl I like having really little um, cubes just because they get so much softer and then they're just so delicious when they're smaller. I like the smaller pieces. And then I put it on a lined baking sheet and bake it at 400 until it's done. And I just pierce it with a fork and just check it. It's usually 10 minutes. So now that you know how to cut up and prepare a butternut squash, go make some good recipes, guys. Don't forget High Five Fridays tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye.